A Fannie Ferrer calls for Southeast presidency as they urge fairness. And Lagos State Governor's Advisory Council has approved a second term for Governor Jide Samolu. This is Plus Politics. I'm Kofi Bartels. You welcome leader of Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Ferret, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, has said that the presidential aspirants from the southwestern geopolitical zone in Nigeria, including Vice President Yemi Oshibajo and former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinubu, should forget the presidential ambitions. He also said it was the turn of Nigeria's southeast to produce Nigeria's next president after the regime of President Muhammadu Buhari. Now joining us to discuss this development, we have a very fair chieftain, Boyega Adejimo. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, good evening to you. It's nice to be back here. Is this, is this the opinion of the leader of a very fair uh, chief, uh, Ayo Adebanjo, or is this the opinion of the entire a very fair social political organization, which in turn speaks for the Southwest? It is the opinion of, of us, members of Atheni Ferry. And let me add a little more to that introduction. Uh, the highest body, uh, the highest organ that we have in Atheni Ferry uh, is the caucus, the national caucus. And um, in that body, we're just about 60 in the whole of um, uh, the federation in the, well, eight states where the Yoruba are called, naturally. And I'm a member of that body, the highest body, but I'm also a member of the executive of the Afeni Ferry. And we are just about nine. Uh, in which case, if anyone should know, I should know. And um, if I'm saying that Papa has spoken for all of us, uh, you can easily just tell uh, from the bodies that I belong to that, yes, this is the stand of the Afeni Ferry. Interesting. Um, uh, would, would you, can you understand that this may be a shock to uh, quite a lot of people, even those outside the southwestern part of Nigeria, who um, you know feel that uh, those from that zone will support uh, their sons who have and daughters who have a presidential aspirations? Can you understand that this may be perceived in 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 shock? Well, and where has that gotten Nigeria? In which case, all we want to do is playing nepotism of some sort. Now, those who don't know Afeni Ferry, let me start by saying that, uh, again, we are in a climb where we easily forget. We have even forgotten uh, what the founders of the nation, the founding fathers, laid down. The Afeni Ferry remains the only party of one of the founders, and we are very proud of that heritage. There is no party that you could say this is Amadou Bello's party. There is no party that is going to, you're going to say this is Azikiwe's party. Uh, the Afeni Ferry remains the only social political party, even though we may not be in registration, uh, that has followed the principles and the, and the, and the ethics of the Awolowo movement and what Papawolowo stands for. Uh, what I'm trying to say is this. Afeni Ferry's credo is to remain on the high moral ground, high moral ground. Uh, as far back as, as in the uh, uh, late 30s, 40s, Papawolo was supported Ernest Ikoli, uh, who was vying for the chair of um, the late Abba Macaulay, who was leaving the seat as the chair of the NCNC. He supported Ernest Ikoli against Prince Adele Kiadidoin, who is not only who was not only a Yoruba man, but an Ijebu man like Papa Wolo. But he did it on principle. It is not about us ever in which you will find that it is going to be a support to a supposed uh, uh, clansman. If, if we are that kind of an organization, then we won't be different from the people that have held Nigeria hostage. We won't be different from those who have this sense of entitlement to everything in Nigeria. I will go ahead and tell you that the Afeni Ferry supported uh, the Northern Cameroons joining Nigeria against certain people from the North who didn't want the Northern Cameroons to join Nigeria. Uh, Afeni Ferry did that and got the Northern uh, 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 people 
uh, of uh, Gongola and uh, uh, Adamawa states today, who were originally uh, 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 part of the, the, the um, German uh, uh, Cameroons that were later transferred to the French. And then they did this plebiscite, which Papa Ola uh, championed, and they became part of Nigeria. We did the same thing in Southern Cameroon with Endeli, who was our ally, but we lost narrowly. And again, we have demonstrated that times and times again, uh, during the time of Alaji uh, uh, Shio Shagari as president, the ruling party then expelled Shugaba. And it was the Afani Fere who went ahead and did the uh, uh, court case pro bono to have Shugaba uh, brought back to the country. In fact, they repatriated him. Uh, and the, the, the list is endless. I'll tell you something for a fact today that many people don't know. The Afani Fere remains the only political organization that is totally totally committed to the unity of this country. And I'll tell you why I have said so. In the First Republic, uh, we were the, the party in power in the, in the Southwest, in the Western region, as it were called, as it were then. And then we were the leader of opposition in the North. Many people <laughs> will find this uh, to be absolutely uh, uh, surprising to them, to know that the action group then, of course, which was Safeni Ferry, um, became the leader of opposition in the North. It was Alaji Maito, who was an Afeni Ferry member, was an AG member, who was the leader of opposition in the North. And we were the leader of opposition even in the Eastern region. We made history with uh, S.G. Oku, who was of the action group, who contested against his own father, who was in NCSC, and defeated him. And um, we had... Um, as many as, as as eight members in the in the in the Eastern uh, House of Assembly, and we were the leader of opposition in the East, and that made us pan uh, Nigerian uh, in nature, uh, and we displayed that again uh, recently when uh, uh, General Bacha uh, deposed uh, uh, Sultan Dasuki, and we we went to court, we took it up, and said it was. And, it was, it was not exactly done due, uh, due, due to um, a, a well laid out plan. Uh, uh, it was done to just humiliate the man. And we went to court. We were the only group. No northern group did it. No southern, no southeastern group. No middle belt group did it. It was a very, very bad event. Interesting. And again, and again, let me finish, please. And again, in 2015, we supported... Uh, uh, good luck, Jonathan, uh, uh, and his vice, who was from the north, against a Buhari who had a, a Yoruba vice presidential candidate. And we did that based on principle again because of what uh, we asked for, which we've been asking for since 1999, which is uh, to repeal this constitution, uh, to have a new constitutional conference, which we made up as a job to do by setting up a constitutional review, although the, the, the thought time thing put an end to that. But Jonathan listened to us and then did the confab of 2014. And we wanted him to come and implement it. And you can imagine if Jonathan had been there. But again, we will always stand on that high moral ground because the use of tomorrow must know what it takes, what it means to stand firm and to be just. Hmm. So we are not actually rooting for an Igbo presidency. We are actually rooting for justice, for fairness. We are, we are, we are rooting for freedom, for, for opportunity. But, but uh, Dejimo, interesting uh, history you've given us, um, uh, looking at the action group days and the formation of the foundation of this group called Afeni, Afeni Fere. Why the Southeast? Well, because they've never been given a shot. We had, well, even if we are going back to just uh, 22 years ago, 23 years ago, when we started this new dispensation, we had uh, uh, President Obasanjo of the Yoruba stock. He spent eight years. Uh, we had Yaradua, who spent uh, actually three years, because people will want to say Jonathan spent six years. No, Jonathan spent only five years and three months. So we had... President Jonathan from the South-South, who spent five years and three months. And then we've had 
uh, President Buhari, who is on his seventh year, and will make it to the eighth year. And again, where is the Southeast? Where has been the Southeast ever since 1966, January? They've only had a shot through Iran Sea for six months, and that's all. And, and is it fair? Is it fair to a group of people who perhaps are the most industrialized? Many people in Nigeria today will wonder, why would a group with such an industrious, illustrious uh, 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 pedigree not be allowed near the presidency? You can see what they produce in the, in the, in the Southeast with all the marginalization that is going on. We have, you know, St. Motors. We have the uh, uh, factories in Naba. And we have everything that should uh, make every Nigerian to be proud of. So what we are rooting for is justice. They've never had been given a shot. And if you don't want them to have a shot at the presidency, like they've been saying that they want to go, then let them go. Okay. All right. why, why make it look as if only some people are entitled to the presidency? Hmm. That is wrong. That is not the kind of legacy we want to, to live with, with our children. That's not the Nigeria of the future. Because it, it, it will be based on injustice. It will be based on on fairness, it will be based on prebendalism, it will be based on kakistocracy. Kakisto so we want equity, we want justice. But 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 it is is a fairly fair as a social political organization that represents uh, um, the southwestern part of Nigeria, not in danger of alienating itself from the the aspirations or the desires, and call it that, of the people in the Southwest. Um, we look at the All Progressives Congress. We look at the structure, political structure in the Southeast. It's majorly uh, the All Progressives Congress. You look at the likes of Bola Mitin, who have held sway uh, in the Southeast. And these, these politicians, even the vice president, uh, have, have a groundswell followership in, in the Southwest. Um, we have had agitations in recent uh, months and years for Yoruba Nation, um, citing several uh, uh, you know, cases of marginalization and injustice, and you're very well aware of this. Um, won't Afeni Fere be alienating itself by going against what may be, and I use the word may, the, the larger desire, or the desire of the larger uh, or the majority of people who come from southwestern Nigeria? So, in other words, once we have a president from the southwest, then everything is fine. I'm asking you. In which case, in which case, it didn't matter if this country is going to end up being a failed state. All we want is a Yoruba man as president. Are you, say, case, are you saying? Are you are you saying? Are you saying a, a Yoruba man? Maybe one of the two um, that uh, your leader mentioned. If they come to power, Nigeria will be a failed state. Is that what you're saying, sir? That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is this: yeah. okay. it doesn't just make sense to believe that all that it is to what the Yorubas will aspire to be is just to have a Yoruba president. We've had a Yoruba president for eight years. We've had a Yoruba president for a vice president for almost eight years. That's like 16 years of Yoruba being at the top, either number one or number two. And, and what has he given us? As at this moment, you are right about many things. There is agitation for Yoruba nation. The Afenifer is not, let me say that again, it's not against the agitation for a Yoruba nation. We've never been. In fact, we've supported uh, all those who are asking for the Yoruba nation. The only thing is we are committed to still salvaging this country, if there's anything to salvage. And in 2017, the Afenifer organized the, what was called later uh, uh, to become known as um, uh, the Ibadan Declaration. And, and in which case, we asked for the critical minimum, which was uh, restructuring. And we invited the, the uh, other ethnicities. We invited the Yohanese. We invited the Pande. We invited the Middle Belt Forum. And thereafter, uh, the Southern Middle Belt Forum, the SMBL, was, um, was bathed by the Afeni Ferry. And for five years, we've kept that going. And it is the strongest bonding group of ethnicities that this country has ever witnessed because many of them don't even last uh, a year but here we are this is our fifth year and in that group we have eminent men we have the Hanese, we have a we have pandev we have the middle bell forum we have 
Papaya Clark as our chair. And that's another thing about our if we battled it. But why would should we cede the chair to somebody else? But then Papa Clark was has always been a patriot. He's two years older than Papa De Bando, and he's still uh, uh, relevant to the aspirations of those of us who want a better uh, uh, country uh, with dignity. We want to live with dignity. Interesting. Everybody knows there's a war. There's a war going on in Nigeria presently. There's no part of Nigeria where there's no war going on. So how do we begin to look for peace? The very first thing a nation needs is peace. How do we, how do we maintain peace? If anyone is going to face the truth today, we have all manners of insecurity. But the greatest insecurity we have is that in which there could be a dissolution of this country if some people still want to maintain that they have a total sense of entitlement to the presidency of Nigeria. Which, which people it, are you referring to, sir? Well, the, those who have the sense of belonging, you know them, the field that north. Those who are even, well, Papa Debanjo made that statement. It was replied by the Northern Elders Council, Elders Forum, and they said that, well, it's laughable. Um, if, if they return in Northern, nothing will happen. That is the kind of statement that can lead to the dissolution of this country. Why, 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 why make it look as if only you have that sense? When they wanted the North to rule in 2015, they did everything. They came out and said, it is their turn. For crying out loud. Out, out of the uh, uh, years of existence, since 1960, and we're we talking about 62 years, believe me, apart from about just three years in, in the 70s, uh, it runs these six months in the 60s, and, uh, well, three months of Chileco. Okay. The rest have been the northerners. And, and in this way, even about just eight years, is going to be surpassed. By the time we add three years of uh, Yaradua plus eight years of worry, that's going to make 11 years. But I, 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 is that fairly fair not, 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 not ignoring the peculiar circumstances that the political parties find themselves in? Um, we can look at, for instance, the People's Democratic Party that is yet to zone its presidential ticket to any part of the country, that committee led by the governor of Benin State, Samuel Otom. Um, for instance, in the PDP, which may yet produce uh, the president of Nigeria, what some of the, the members from northern Nigeria are saying, and aspirants uh, for the presidency, is that since the party came to power in 1999, and since the advent of the democratic dissemination, this republic, that they've held sway, or held the number one position for only three years. Out of the 16 years the party has been the ruling party in Nigeria, you talked about uh, uh, Yardwa. That's all. Obasanjo has come and gone eight years. Um, uh, uh, um, Jonathan has come and gone six years. You said five years, three months. Five years. Yeah, three months. So, so what should the people in the members of the PDP from northern Nigeria, you know, what should they do? Because they've not had that ticket beyond three years. You see, let's, let, let's not make this thing too simplistic. And then, of course, let's not make it an emotional thing. It's a rational thing. And all we are trying to, to say is that we are not doing the Yibo a favor. No. It is just going to be emotional to say, um, my party has not had it. Uh, some have had it. it, it that, that, those are just... Uh, relying upon uh, such arguments that at the end of the day will lead us back into 2015, just like I said. The, 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 the idea of 2015 was not about Jonathan doing anything wrong as such. It was simply about not allowing a Southern Christian president to continue. They said it. It was in the papers. We want the power back. And now that they've had the power for seven years, what have they done with it? Nigeria has it become better. For but but Mr. 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 Dejimo, you talk about not making it simplistic. Maybe a fairly fair is the one making it simplistic by not taking into account the peculiar circumstances in all the various political parties. Like I've just given you an example, the PDP. If you have a, a um, 
uh, a uh, what do you call it again one sweeping statement for all the parties one sweeping view without looking at the peculiarities of the different parties maybe you might not be doing uh, us or justice to the situation on the ground okay now i will go deeper than that uh when president babangida was going to start his um journey into um handling the country back to uh, uh, politicians. He wrote to Papa Deba, uh, Papa Awolo and said, uh, please, Papa, come and help us. We want to start uh, the process of returning to democracy. And, and I'm sure you know about what, what I'm trying to say here. Papa wrote back and said, he doesn't see anything happening. Uh, and, and he charged us members of Afeni Ferry to steer clear of what Babangida was going to do because he had seen it be, beyond what anybody uh, would want to see on the peripheral. This is not about the surface matter, but a deep, intense scrutiny. And he said, don't, don't go there. And how did it end? Papa Devanjo, in 1999, when he, he went to Kutafane, he said almost the same thing, that without this constitution being changed, without this structure, uh, uh, structural defect, that Nigeria is going nowhere, and that it might lead us into war. People thought the man was joking at the Okuta panel, go and search YouTube, you will find it. But then I also don't realize there could be something in it. He set up a, 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 a commission to look at how to, 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 to effect changes in the constitution. If he wasn't convinced, then why would he do it? We, we said the same thing to, to Jonathan, he set up the 2014 confab, in which case maybe all that we are trying to do is to think ahead, to look at 20 years, People are looking at tomorrow. They are looking at 2023. They are looking at selfish interests. And where will it end all of us? We are trying to solve the problem. There's so much unrest in the East. The IPOB are there. Those who are uh, uh, the, the movement for the emancipation of the Igbo is there. There's so much killings going on. And what do we, what do we have? Rather than kill or go after the, the terrorists in the North, what do we have? These terrorists that will go right today, we are even told that these same terrorists went to uh, a, a, an army formation, a military formation uh, in Borno or, or thereabout. They've gone to the NDA. They, they, they've had their strikes in Kaduna that has no less than eight military solutions. What we are trying to say is this. If you are going one way and things are not working and you keep doing the same thing, you keep, you keep, Asking for failure at each time. Uh, in, 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 interesting. What, you, I, I, sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. because to, of I time. To, sorry, I need, to, I, need to, I, need to, I need to learn, please. And if that failure is going to be recurring, it's like a marriage in which we have a separation. You are not yet divorced. You can be separated and living in the same house, but all is not well. The next logical thing is a divorce. Before we get to that divorce stage, we are looking for a solution. The people that are so restive right now are the people of the Southeast, and they have a reason to be. Rather than go after the terrorists, IPOB has been labeled a terrorist organization. Rather than call terrorists terrorists, they are being called bandits. We are not fools in this country. But, but a, 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 court, a, 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 the, 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 the court has 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 given a ruling on that, you know, and upgraded upgraded their status to terrorists. But um, uh, talking about restructuring and the view of um, uh, Paya Debanjo uh, regarding this, uh, sometime early this year, he said that he and indeed the Pan Yoruba group, uh, Afeni Ferry, will not queue behind any presidential candidate until Nigeria's constitution is changed, calling the constitution, quote, a military constitution. He said, and I quote, we are not contending who is the president now. We don't believe in the constitution that we have. Until that constitution is changed, then we'll talk about where the president will be. We have no candidate now until that constitution is changed because I don't want to go on an uncharted sea that is the implication now. So what has changed? The man said he won't queue and the organization will not queue behind any candidate why the U-turn? No, there's no U-turn. Actually, what has happened is this. We have told them nothing short of restructuring is going to work. It is a statement of fact. 
If they decide that they want to go ahead, we are not participating in the polls, but if they decide to go ahead, we've told them a panacea. We've given them a way out of this lockdown. And we are saying, if you want peace, then go for an Igbo pre uh, uh, presidency. It's, it is advocacy. We don't have the reins of power to determine any party, the kind of presidential candidate they should um, throw up. So it is not as if it is within our power to uh, make a decree or to make um, a categorical statement that must be followed. That is not what is happening. It is like a father who has said it is not going to work. Nothing will work. Go back to restructuring. Go back to the 1963 constitution. Don't follow this presidential election. But if people are not going to listen, at least let their conscience be the judge. Now okay. listen, today it came out that for anyone who is aspiring to be president, you must buy a form for a hundred million naira. You are actually telling that person to go and look for the money any which way. And the first thing the person would do if he wins. All right. Is to, is to steal the 100 million back from you people. Your money is going to All take right. it back. You think okay. it's not going to forfeit 100 million? And those who lose will have to be compensated. We are saying that this system is not working. We have go to back go. to the parliamentary system. In mm -hmm. which case, it is advocacy. We belong, like I said, to a group that we formed. We backed the group. And the group and us have come out to make a joint statement. In which case, what Papa De Banjo has said, uh, said is just echoing what the Southern Middle Belt Forum, the SMBLF, right. right. have said. Okay. That we, 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 for, we, for peace to reign, yeah. let an Igbo man be president. We have to go. We have to go. Um, I would like to thank you very much for your time. Uh, we definitely would love to have you back again, and we'll be doing that as soon as possible because the issues are still germane until we cross that bridge in 2023. Um, Boyga Dejimo, chieftain of Pan-Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Social Fair. political group. We are po not a social cultural All right, political group. We're that okay. when we left the Egbe Omodudua. Thank you so very much for the correction. I appreciate your time, sir. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thanks for staying with us on Plus Politics. We'll take a short break. And when we return, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawolu has gotten the approval from a group to run for a second term. We'll be right back. <laughs>